the role of play in interactive mathematics where we're creating opportunities that's not just the math block. It's not just the 20 minutes or the 40 minutes or the 50 minutes a day where we talk about math, but how things are interacted or interrelated throughout the day being key, and that was part of the principles uh, that we read about. The idea of shared experiences was a really central part of our conversation because with younger children, you can't necessarily rely so much on pop culture, right? On shared experiences outside of the school. So the role of the teacher to create shared experiences is essential. And we heard about that from the calendar routines, other sort of classroom routines you do, school events that everybody's engaging in at the school, the children's literature, the play that's happening, as this rich opportunities to capitalize on in early childhood that are the, you have to because you can't just say, oh, let's talk about the Batman movie or something like that. You know, it's a, the shared experiences can't be assumed. And then, therefore, we see here this importance of, of how the instructional tools have to be tied to the developmentally, uh, to be developmentally appropriate. So while we are focusing heavily on reading and writing, in the early years, this idea of how students are representing or modeling and not just using numbers, right? That it's not just about naked numbers and, and construction of procedures and algorithm, uh, uh, algebraic notations, but that students are representing mathematical ideas. And where we pay heavy attention to kind of cognates and helping especially Spanish speakers connect across languages, in the early grades we've talked so much about they're still just developing the, the, the idea, the concept here, this concept attainment. What is Tuesday versus Thursday? Rather than saying how many days later is Thursday than Tuesday.